Consider a complex gear train composed of four gears. Gear A has 19 teeth connected to gear B, which has 15 teeth. Gear C has 10 teeth, while gear D has 16. Notice that A and B are meshed together, C and D are meshed together, but that B and C share the same axes. So the question becomes, what is the mechanical advantage of this system? Well, one of the important concepts is remembering that we're only talking about gear ratios based on the number of teeth. For number of teeth, for a single gear ratio, we're looking at the number of teeth of the output divided by the number of teeth of the input. From here, we're going to go ahead and break these up as two separate systems and then treat them as a compound machine. Compound machines, as you may recall, have the mechanical advantage of the total equal to MA1 times MA2. So, for gear train A and B, we're going to go ahead and take the number of teeth of the output, in this case the non-driven motor, divided by the number of teeth in the driven motor. We'll do the calculations in a moment because we know that we're going to multiply that mechanical advantage of the mechanical advantage of C and D. D, we know, is the final output and divided by the input of the driven motor of C. Keep in mind that since A is driving B, B is driving C, C is therefore driving D. In your calculators, it makes sense to go ahead and type in the parentheses, 15 divided by 19 times parentheses, 16 divided by 10, and we get an answer, in this case originally as a fraction, and again as 1.2. Two, six. Mechanical advantage. You may occasionally have this rounded off to one decimal place, so we could consider it therefore approximately 1.3 mechanical advantage.